Good afternoon. This is Brian Baines and today we're at Kiwi Trading. Uh, inside there is a little gold mine of vinyl records. A new guy, he's opened a business in there, his name's Phil Dunn. And the record shop is called Northern Rocks. Let's go in and see him. Shop. And I'm speaking to? It's Phil Dunn and I'm the owner and proprietor of uh, Northern Rocks. And how long have you been here, Phil? Uh, just for a week now. We opened um, last Saturday and it's going really well so far. I've had a really, really busy week. Uh, it's just nice to see the music lovers of Hartlepool and the vinyl lovers of Hartlepool coming out in force, really. It's making a really big re resurgence of vinyl. My daughter, she's 19 years old, sure, yeah. so she's a CD child, yes. you know, digital downloads yeah. and everything. Yeah, yeah. She's actually um, buying vinyl, and it makes me laugh because, um, you know, bless her, she's getting so excited about vinyl. Yeah, great. I mean, my old daughters are the same. I mean, I've got a daughter at uni, and she's got a deck in her flat, and all of her flatmates have uh, are buying records and, and listening to records and, and listening to music on vinyl. It is definitely back with a bang. The thing about me is it never actually left me yeah. in the first place. I never succumbed to CDs and MP threes and downloads and stuff like that I just don't even understand it was always vinyl in my house always will be and, and you know this is a this is a product of it really well s sadly I, I, I moved quite quickly into digital and got rid of a lot of my um, vinyl yeah I was quite upset by it and we were talking about songs and stuff like that and I told him uh, Phil about the first song I bought which yep. was KC and the Sunshine Band right, right. It, it, uh, Quite a, quite a good song. And then I really embarrassed myself, didn't I, Phil? <laughs> and I told you what my first album was. And my first album was Shawaddy Waddy. Ah. All right, so we won't say no more. But you just showed me what one of your first couple of albums yeah, were. Yeah. Let's have a look at these yeah. classic albums. That was the first album that I ever um, owned and ever listened to, um, which is with the Beatles. It was the, actually the Beatles' second album, but it was the first one that what I... What sort of tracks had they got on there? Uh, well, things like All My Lovin' is on there. Uh, Please, Mr. Postman. Brilliant album. Roll Over Beethoven. Class album. Absolutely brilliant. But it was my mum bought me it, actually. I had a record player at home. She bought me this. And when I play this album now, nowadays, I can actually hear the songs before they come on. I'm so familiar with it. Wow. The that I recognise, you know, the, the tracks before they even play. So, yeah, that was my, my first one. This is the Watershed album. This is the album that I went out from school on a Monday night and the date came out, walked down the town and bought it. And this album set me off on pretty much my musical journey to today. I love the Sex Pistols, love the punk rock, got into all the punk stuff at the time. And this is a first day issue. That was bought on the first day it came out. It doesn't even have the track listing on the back. So that's a true original bought on the day of release. So what sort of um, value would a copy, if I've got a, one of these copies of this at home? Yeah, that's about a 50, 60 quid album nowadays, so I wish I'd bought two. Yeah. Is, is there any bands that particularly um, do well in the sort of like a second-hand vinyl market? You'd be surprised. In, in, since I opened last week, it's the classics. It's your Bob Dylan's, it's your Dire Straits, it's your Fleetwood Macs. Um, because a lot of the people buying the stuff are guys of my age and, and older, you know, blokes in the 50s, blokes in the 60s. Uh, so it's that sort of stuff really that tends to sell well. There's um, a lot of the punk stuff sells well. And lads of my age like Madness, The Jam, The Specials, and that sort of gear is flying out. Right. So could you tell us, have you got a Facebook page or anything, or is there any way we can look on the website or anything? Yeah, sure. We've got a Facebook page. That's all up and running. Uh, it's at Northern Rocks at Kiwi Trading, if you search for it. Uh, we're on Twitter as well. Uh, yeah, we're going to be all over social media. I've got my daughter working on that as a bit of a project, so it's keeping it in the family a little bit. But yeah, that sort of stuff's vital nowadays. You know, back in the day when a record came out, and uh, you used to have to walk downtown on lunchtime to buy it. Now you can look online, you can search online. And we've had a load of really great responses on Facebook, loads of likes, loads of shares. And and that's what it's all about, isn't it, nowadays? So if someone has a, 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 a collection at home, you know, that they're, they're unsure of, maybe want someone to value it, maybe want to get rid of it, yeah. are, they, are they welcome to come and see you? Yeah, they are, absolutely. Come down to Osborne Road, come down to Kiwi Trade and Northern Rocks, we'll have a look at things. It's just years and years of knowledge and experience with vinyl has taught me, you know, what to look out for. And there's some interesting stuff out there. We've already had some great collections brought down. And, you know, people surprise you. They bring a, a box of albums and you think there's nothing in there. And there's three or four absolute gems in there. Everybody has a gem in in their collection. Excellent, excellent. Well, thank you very much, and I'm going to stay a little while longer and have a look through, but uh, thank you very much, Phil. Really nice. Cheers now. Thank you. Please like and follow Hartlepool TV on Facebook and YouTube.